Content is king. What a load of crap. I do hate platitudes. Don't get me wrong. Content is a very popular and potentially effective marketing tool. 92% of businesses now view content as an asset. 60% of businesses report placing content on a weekly basis. And 56% say they will place more content in 2020 than they did in 2019. But most content is just not that effective. Just think about how much content you see in a day and how much you actually read. Not much. Most content is ignored. Did you know that only 42% of B2B marketers consider their content effective? Did you know that only 43% of B2C marketers consider their content effective? And that only 8% of all marketers consider themselves able to track the effectiveness of their content. These are not good numbers. Content creators would like to tell you that content is king because they want to sell you more content. But the numbers they quote are more often than not related to use rather than effectiveness. Most content is in fact ignored and generates little, if any, return. Content creators like to tell you that content is king because they want to sell you more content. But the numbers they quote are more, more often than not related to usage than to effectiveness. Most content is ignored and generates very little return on investment. That said, recent research has found that 61% of consumers are, are influenced by custom content, that 84% of B2B buyers access business-related content on a regular basis before making a purchase. And one study found that content can create three times more leads at a 62% less cost than other forms of marketing. Content is not king, but content can pay dividends, especially if you put quality ahead of quantity, put consistency ahead of frequency, put video ahead of words, put original ahead of curated, and put action ahead of observations. Most importantly, you need to put return on investment ahead of any savings that you might make by using content instead of advertising. It is all about return on investment and you need to be able to quantify and maximise that return on investment. I have just written a blog entitled 20 Tips for Ensuring Your Content is Read. You can find that blog at dqaustralia.com. That's www.dqaustralia.com. Here are just some of the tips. One, know your reader. Know your reader better than anyone knows your reader and write to individual members of that readership base. Two, use the right headings, headings that are interesting, engaging and make the reader curious. Use the right technology. 80% of all content posted online now is video. Be current or ahead of time. People no longer want to read old news or something they've read before. And use the right language. Avoid jargon, avoid industry speak, and talk in language that your audience engages with and understands. To find out more about effective content marketing, visit www.dqaustralia.com. That's www.dqaustralia.com. Or email me, john at dqaustralia.com. That's john at dqaustralia.com. The fact is, content is not king, but done well, it can be a very, very effective marketing tool. I'm John Carlson. Thanks for listening.